I spent a bunch of time with Peter. You can't say enough about him. Uh, Peter to me was Amadeus. He was just gifted at a level that I, I don't even know how to explain it. And um, a lot of fun to work with, generous as a teacher. And I'm wondering if you have a way to talk about, would you talk about the consciousness work? If you could ex explain what you mean to somebody who has no idea what you're talking about. Well, okie doke, but uh, you know, probably I will be unsuccessful. <laughs> like uh, th throughout the years, I've tried to, decades, throughout the decades, I tried to, to, to find a descriptive title for what I do and I have not been able to the entire time. I mean, no matter what I come up with, it's just, I can't do it. Um, in any case, you know, people have like consciousness and awareness kind of confused, you know? Uh, and so we tend to think of consciousness as awareness, but even if we were just thinking about awareness, uh, then become more aware. So, and people can get that idea pretty readily. Ah, I could become more aware of something. Now, if we expand this idea of becoming more aware to beyond the boundaries where our perceptive capacities uh, stop, basically, say, then we have something more like consciousness. So to become conscious, even where we can't perceive, because awareness is kind of, is wed with perception. We perceive, we sense something, we know something, we see something, we feel something, etc. cetera. So we become aware of something, and sometimes aware of an idea, a new idea or something, you know, which can be really great. But we're still stuck in a world of perception there, or awareness or experience. And um, what I talk about is consciousness uh, pushes beyond that, so to speak. It's like we're talking about what is, not just what we perceive. And those are different. Because what is is what is, and what we perceive is limited to our faculties, you know? And so, you know, consciousness is becoming, to, to go back to the other word, becoming aware of the whole thing, becoming aware of what is on any level. Like what is language, or what am I? What is being, what is existence, et cetera? What is communication, no, 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 no. And, uh, or, you know, what is Aikido, you know? So it's like that, the, the questioning, I think if you put what is in front of something, then you enter into the consciousness work, you know, like, what is it? I mean, but what is it really? And then, you know, we'll, we'll approach that with the uh, mm -hmm. idea of what is it? Okay, I'll think about it and I'll study it or something. I'll, um, I'll come up with an idea or a definition. And that might be, you know, that might in some cases be appropriate or all that we're looking for. But if we, Consider what is the question what is is looking for a direct personal consciousness on the matter. Like you and it are one. You and it become the same thing, share the same place, your consciousness in it, and you get it. Is it uh, then that's the consciousness work of which I speak.